Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the DFD for online shopping website. So in the previous lecture, we had discussed the level 0 and level 1 DFD. Here in this lecture, we are representing the level 2 DFD at the admin side of the online shopping website. So before going to the data flow diagram, as we mentioned in the previous lectures, a data flow diagram is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in terms of input, input and output. And the data flow diagram or DFD contains some symbols for drawing the data flows in a system. The basic four symbols available are data flow, process, entity and data stores. Data flow are pipelines through the packet of information flow. And a data flow is represented by a line with an arrow head. A process is a task performed by the system and in a DFD a process is represented by an ellipse or in some cases it is represented by a circle. The third one is the entity. Entity are objects of the system, a source or destination data of a system. So these are the endpoints of a system and an entity is represented by a rectangular box. The final one is the data store. A data store is a place where data to be stored and it is represented by two parallel lines. So my dear students, these are the four basic symbols available. Once again, these four symbols are data flow are represented by arrowheads. Second one is a process which is represented by a circle or ellipse. Third one is the entity which is represented by a rectangular box and finally data stores or databases or storage spaces are represented by two parallel lines. So my dear students, as we mentioned in the last lecture, we had discussed about the data flow diagram for an online shopping. The 0th level DFD contains of two entities which are website admin and user and there is a process known as online portal and there are information or data flow between these entity towards the process as well as data flow from process to these end user entities and also we had discussed the level 1 dfd at the admin side of this particular process and in this level 1 dfd at the admin side we can see five independent processes those processes are login manage category, manage item and manage order and manage report. In the level 2 DFD, we have to expand each of these processes. Firstly, we are considering the login that is the first process available. So login is the first process. So in this login process, the different users associated with the login process are first one, the username management entity. In this username management entity, we have to manage the usernames of different users available in the system. So that users may be administrators, customers or any other end users available or associated with this website or web portal. So we have to ensure that none of the two should have the same username. So the user management is one of the important processes associated with the website portal. Second one is a password management. While considering the password, each username should be associated with a password or a strong password available. Third one is the login management. In the login management scenario, each and every login should be recorded in order to ensure the transparency of the system. And we should also have a change password management system in which a user can change his password accordingly based upon the request from the user side. The different reports available or reports associated with this login process are user detail report which enable the admin to see the amount of users or the total number of users associated with this website secondly we can see a login detail report which shows the independent login details of each and every user third process available or third report available is the generate register report which generates the register details or customer credentials associated with this website and finally the change password report ensures or we can see the password changes made by the independent individual users. 
So this is the second level DFT at the admin side for the login process that is the first process available in the admin side. So in the admin side, the second process available is the manage. Firstly, it was a login. Second one is a manage category that is a 2.0. So we have to elaborate or enlarge the different processes available in this manage category. For each and every process, we can see that the website admin should log in to that system. So while signing into a system, the data should be processed by the login process or the data given to the system includes the login credentials which flows from the customer side or the admin side into the login process. Check these login credentials against the admin details stored in the database admin detail database. Based upon the verification, a reply is given to the process from the database and this reply details responds to the admin side. If the given data are valid data, then the admin can log in into the system. So the second process is add category. Here in this add category, an admin can add new category of products into the website or he can add new stream or new quantity. These products are added or reflected in the product category database. That is a new category is added then we should ensure that the product category database should be updated by using the add data scenario and the admin should ensure that this updated database is reflected in the website. The third independent process in the manage category is change the detail process which means that we can change the independent details of each and every products or category of products. Here we can update the price, update the offers or we can provide a new set of offers or any other schemes in order to promote the website. So while doing this change detail process, we should ensure that the product category database should be updated. And the final process in the second level DFD is the delete category process that is the 2.3 process. In this delete category, we can delete a particular set of data and this removal of data should be done in the product category database and the database should reflect those changes in the website or web portal. So this is the second level DFD for the manage category process. So here in this lecture we had discussed the two processes enlargement that is the level 2 DFDs for the login as well as level 2 DFD for the manage category. So my dear students, hope you had understood this lecture. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The assignment question is, draw the level 2 DFD for the ATM transaction. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we should discuss the level 2 DFD for manage item, manage order, and manage report of the admin side. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.